Hey there, quick video for you today about what I'm doing in terms of art. Um, today I'm studying Ashley Wood, and actually I'm going to be studying Ashley Wood for most of March, and uh, maybe even a little bit into April, because I think he's that great. Um, I actually grew up, uh, like in my young adult life, uh, first being exposed to Ashley Wood when he did um, Tank Girl and Metal Gear Solid comics. I thought he was great. Uh, he was an inspiration for me for where I wanted to go as an artist. Um, I'm told by Noah Bradley in his art camp, uh, which I'm doing, that um, you're not supposed to pick living artists because you could be making a mistake, but I happen to also know that uh, another element of the art camp is uh, basically intentionally choosing... Um, people that inspire you and doing studies of them to try to understand uh, why uh, you're attracted to them and what you want to learn from them. Um, what I want to learn from Ashley Wood, um, palette knife work, um, quick figures, uh, eroticism inside of uh, comics, um, the ability to paint uh, figures in a rapid way, in a... Um, Sort of like a la prima painting, but for, like, lewd figures. That would be really cool. Uh, I like that kind of, like, messy uh, um, palette knife style. I think that's really great. Um, and uh, so I finally, you know, I've been wanting to actually study him for a while. And I think what I'm going to do now is um, uh, go through the art camp uh imaginative study uh, week, um, which I need to basically do like uh, a certain number of master studies and a certain number of imaginative studies. And I think what I'm going to do is just um, do the master studies of Ashley Wood and then do the imaginative studies as like derivation pieces um, from the ones that I studied. So I learn not only how Ashley Wood does his uh, paintings that I like, but also how... Um, I do uh, paintings that could have been made by Ashley Wood if he had chosen to make those ones as best as I'm able to do. And that's kind of the direction I'm headed in for the next maybe month or two. And uh, today we're just starting things off with a nice study, uh, just to try to pick up some skills and see how it goes. Uh, this one that you're watching right now is basically like... Mm, the most interesting thing I know about it is... Uh, just these, uh, this large gray mass in the center is actually like a type of black gray, like a, a gray, a gray black. So when you look at the color triangle um, that I'm working with right now, there's a sort of like an edge down here uh, um, on the far desaturated side where the darks that you're using have this gray context. And what ends up happening in terms of like relative color, I suppose, is that these become a little bit more blue like whereas like if you're in the uh, dark but the saturated uh, side of things then it, it turns out to be a little bit more like red or crimson type thing uh, in terms of like using a warm palette I guess like so if you're working with like a yellow an orange or a red as your main color and then you've got your like uh, these blacks in the center I, I just noticed that Ashley Wood's characters um, They've got, they, they've got, there's a number of things going on here. There's like, uh, in this particular painting, we can go into the other stuff later, but in this particular painting, there's uh, the center uh, gray black, which sort of uh, offsets the uh, more saturated red spots, which are located like around the thighs and the breasts. And then uh, there's also like some pretty cool like brown, uh, brown yellow uh, type things for like shading on the face um, the hair is nice because it it starts at like a um, probably like a gray black again and then it sort of like fades into like let's say you know like an orange and then a yellow it's kind of cool nice little shapes there um, I personally think this painting turned out really good um, <clears throat> I'm excited that I was able to like pull something off like this. I've done three studies so far. I've got a whole bunch that I printed off of the internet. I'm going to do a bunch more. And um, something that you can kind of keep an eye out for in terms of the next video 
will be like uh, bas basically it's it's March, and so uh, we should be doing March of Robots, which is fantastic because uh, Ashley Wood actually has like um, this really great series called Pop Bot. And uh, I'm definitely going to be studying PopBot and then trying to do some derivative, uh, you know, sequential art, imaginative uh, work based off of the PopBot series for a project I'm working on in uh, March. And then maybe maybe develop that a bit further in April. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for today. I uh, hope that you have a good, uh, a good day. Um, if you're interested in learning more about these master studies, um, you can go take Noah Bradley's art course. This is a good example. There is a video that Noah Bradley has for free that I have followed that I've been learning a lot from. You can study there. And um, other than that, I just say, like, you know, subscribe and, like, watch the next video because I'm going to be trying to release one of these each day. Um, and you'll sort of see the process that I'm going through as I'm trying to apply, like, learning and derivation and project construction and marketing like all together inside of this thing and uh, I've been working on like how does how do you do this how does one do this for like probably like years now and uh, I just have I got a pretty good feeling about uh, about this one uh, so we're gonna see how it goes in in this next in this next month in March for March of Robots and uh, see if I can't synthesize this stuff and uh, find a good path forward from here. Okay, uh, that's all. Have a good day, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.